All right, do you know what? Go together, me and you. Let's try this one more time, please. Yes, yes, she's proposing to us, guys. I did it. We have a screaming baby in the background, but I did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did it. Deeper conversations. I love you. Deeper conversations. I love you. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? It wasn't bad after all. Listen, Tyson, we stayed persistent. We stayed vigilant. How exciting is that? Congrats. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. It is currently nighttime right now in Island Paradise or Isla Paradiso. We are currently looking off of river's little island over here this is what his view is when he looks outside it's so gorgeous speaking of which you guys can see over here we talked about this a very long time ago but in the sims 3 they added a brand new feature with the sims 3 island paradise they added the ability to unlock hidden islands if i mouse over this it says i wonder what's down there so these map pieces that we're getting when skip goes diving and when tyson goes diving all that as you guys can see here map piece we need four map pieces we currently have two which means we're halfway through finding all the map pieces and you may be wondering well maddie how do you find them well when we have skip and tyson go diving whatever one whoever can get them they will be able to collect these map pieces and then obviously i can click on it and hit reconstruct but yeah we only need two more and then we i think we get all of the islands like everything has an uncharted island i'm pretty sure each one of these which is super cool that they added this this is like the first time they ever played with a feature like this in the sims 3 and lo and behold it came to the second to last expansion i don't know why they held off on it for so long but it is a really cool idea and it kind of adds long-term playthrough capabilities of the sims 3 i know a lot of people a big critique of the sims 4 is that there isn't those kind of long-term playthrough capabilities but in the sims 3 i mean you can feasibly be working on this sort of map piece kind of quest throughout an entire sims life because i mean skip's almost an elder here and he's still working on it and he started when he was like in his early days of being an adult so feasibly i mean it is a really good idea and you could be working on this for a really long time so that's a cool idea anyway in the last episode poor tyson poor tyson well first of all luther died who is the kid's grandpa he was the one by the way that owns all of the fancy resorts in town that phoebe has been feuding with ever since she was a child who's also very classist and just not a good person but he passed away in the last episode which means that they're and now skip's younger sister taryn is actually an heir to like a major fortune like this girl owns all of the resorts and yeah she's just literally rich like this girl can we talk about that for a second she is rich right now she is quite literally a millionaire probably multi-millionaire let's be real also in the last episode tyson proposed to his girlfriend palmira now we found out that she is insane and i want to shout out verona verona left the comment i'm not sure if you know this but whether or not a sim with the insane trait will accept a marriage proposal is completely random and left up to chance it isn't influenced by their mood or anything of the sort keep on trying tyson and oh my god can we just talk about how good this trait system in the sims 3 is like the fact a trait will dictate something that important in a sims life is like why i absolutely adore this game just the traits are so flawlessly done and they tie things and aspects of the sims life that you wouldn't even think like i didn't even know that and i've been playing this game for so long and i had no idea that the insane trait affects whether a sim will accept a marriage proposal or not so i guess at this point what we're gonna have to do is tyson is just gonna have to keep on trying to propose to palmyra whether he will be able to or not i guess we will see in the long term but um yeah just sad sad all around i'm just sad about that but we'll move on we'll be okay and maybe we do a mini series here <laughs> traveling with tyson he has his own little um travel show on the travel network or something of that sort anyway so i'm waking meadow up to go and take care of baby ash ash is meadow and skip's child that was also born alongside noel by the way a lot of you are saying that n-o-e-l is a unisex spelling of noel or noel i actually really like the name noel instead of noel i think we've i feel like if we've had a noel for something like i feel like we've had a noel am i just drawing a blank or is there might be someone in the lineage already that i use the name noel i like that name a lot in real life so i wouldn't be surprised if i already named someone uh noel but i did change the spelling just to make it look like noel so that i wouldn't keep saying noel um so i spelled it n-o-l-e which i think also really works well because he is going to be our into the future heir and i think noel is kind of i don't know why but i could see it being like a sci-fi character's name in like a sci-fi novel or a sci-fi movie or whatever so i think noel is really fitting for the into the future i'm looking ahead for us um in terms of his name so also today is ash's birthday which also means it's noel's birthday because the two 
two boys do share a birthday. They were born on the same exact day. And we also just got the notification that Meadow and Skip are aging up in one day. Can you guys believe it? I'm so sad. Oh, wow. I can't believe it's come this quickly, really. So on this fine morning, uh, what should we... She just sneezed on her poor baby. <laughs> I don't know what we should do. I'm going to send Meadow back to sleep. She is very tired, very sleepy. We're never going to bed. In the meantime, I think we should send Tyson to go diving over here at Davy Jones's locker. He is quickly treading on his dad's diving skill like he's level five i think his dad is like level seven or eight maybe but he is um he is gonna become a better diver than him soon enough so i actually um i actually like that we're having tyson kind of take over a little bit because skip is getting old and i feel like i mean this isn't like a game feature but i feel like we should kind of incorporate his age into his diving ability just because i feel like when you become older you aren't as active which is a generalization a very sweeping statement i'm sure in the comments someone's gonna be like well my grandpa and my grandma is so and so age and they are very active well that's that shark was like teleporting around that was so weird but you guys get what i mean okay skip in specific perhaps he uh perhaps as he ages he becomes less less good at diving is that the word less good why these two are like the, the shark and tyson are they're they're treading on each other um clearly here i think tyson hasn't been attacked yet skip got attacked in the last episode i remember that so maybe this will be tyson's first time getting attacked by a shark i guess we'll see there's some major problems with like the underwater features you guys see how it's kind of laggy this shouldn't be this laggy underwater especially when this is just like 30 by 30 lot or something like that like this is quite a small diving lot so i can't believe it's as laggy as it is we got a opportunity for tyson somehow we got an opportunity while he's under the water don't ask me how that works i have no idea i'm gonna have him swim away from the shark just because i don't uh, i don't want to be near it we caught a tragic clownfish oh also we have skip skip has work today so he's gonna boat on over to or use his little jet ski here to boat on over to the hospital to go to work i love that they just travel like that get to work and i'm gonna grab meadow and we're gonna do the collection helper you guys know this is like my signature move where i just sort with her we can see all like the little shiny objects look at that perfect we got lots of objects here for tyson to go and catch today so we're gonna go and get all those there's also like a little sea urchin over there have him grab that and we're actually getting quite lucky concerning the sharks we haven't uh been attacked by one despite us like literally tyson was swimming on top of that shark i have no idea maybe it's like the shark doesn't recognize him because he's an alien it's like wow that must be another creature although you would think if the shark thought that tyson was like not a human um that might even be more reason for the shark to then eat tyson because that could potentially be his prey i don't know anyway so we're gonna continue with tyson just have him continue diving and doing all that we also have a opportunity for skip i'm not gonna have him do that i prefer to just send them in the rabbit hole uh for the day because it just is annoying that i have to then go and like click around i mean it's cool if you're playing like a single sim just them alone but when i have to do like all these other things like click on sims and i have a bunch of other people in the household i just don't i don't want to deal with that i just want to send them in the rabbit a hole and call it a day okay tyson's diving seems to be coming along quite well we have another little hermit crab guy over here so no one catch that sea polyp we caught a sea polyp worth 51 simoleons isn't that nice i think this location is pretty much exhausted of all of the resources i think i collected everything i don't see oh the lot unrendered do you guys see that like i said this is a incredibly small lot i feel like this lot should not be as laggy as it is considering how small it is i don't I don't know. Someone just gained a skill. Um, Skip got a 37 simoleon raise. That's actually really good. Good job, Skip. That's quite a substantial amount. I mean, I guess because he's a university sim, he probably gets boosts the amount he gets when he gets a raise or whatever. Oh, so there's another fish right there. Perfect. I'm going to make sure that Meadow is taking care of her plants. Um, I'm going to have her get up. It's like 10 o'clock. She should get up. We're going to have her go water the plants. Oh, oh, Misty's haunting the plant. It's like 10 in the morning. Shouldn't Misty be uh, going to sleep? I don't know. Oh my God. I just realized River should be on lifeguard duty right now and i wasn't having him do that so i'm gonna have him quickly go and drop his baby off at his mom's house so that she can babysit him and we're gonna have him head off to his little lifeguard duties because it is time for him to go over there so um yeah he's gonna be ultra late for work like he's gonna be the latest i think he's ever been he's gonna be like hours and hours late which yeah uh that's that that's potentially very bad but listen we we have other things to do we have other obligations i'm going to just have tyson try to open this chest once more i think he needs level six though in order to unlock this chest and i think this will give him the second map piece which is actually really nice oh and he caught a red herring so we got some lifetime reward points for that he has 20k lifetime reward points right now so that's really nice actually advancing quite quickly so soon he's gonna be better than his dad i feel like i should have him 
take faster learner just so he can learn diving skill quicker i think i gave his dad faster learner and that's like why he's learning skills quicker so we'll have him take that too just because yeah, he can't open it yet he'll definitely need yeah level six okay well i'm pretty much done with tyson um i don't really see anything else under the water here let's just go with meta one more time see if we can find anything oh there's actually a tiny tiny like the tiniest i don't even know what that is is that like a urchin i think it's a sea urchin i'm pretty sure that is what skip needs for his opportunity god damn it i wish skip was down here right now because then i could have him collect that because he's had the opportunity literally since we had him visit the bistro to get some diving work all those days ago and i just haven't been able to catch sea urchins yep that's a sea urchin and he needs two of them no whatever anyway i'm going to yep there we go river is dropping his baby okay she he just threw the baby in yep on the floor lovely okay no you need to not do that let's have you go to work dude you are way 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 you are an hour and 20 30 minutes gonna be like two hours late by the time you get there so go please go it's time for you to go to work and we're gonna have mama meadow here she's gonna take care of all of the babies she's very good she's raised lots of kiddos so i think she'll be fine um raising these guys and you know taking care of noel when river is out at work i love the fact that i can just drop noel off at meadow's house and it works like she's like technically babysitting him not officially babysitting him but like the game doesn't recognize that she's babysitting him just that there's like an adult sim on the lot so but i actually really like the technical idea that they live in two separate places but he goes and like drops the baby off you guys know what i mean i talked about it in like a couple episodes ago but river does not live with them anymore but he technically still does because like all in the same household i don't know anyways let's have him go and collect some more fish um his oxygen is getting low so i'm gonna have him collect these last two items and then have him head up to the surface just so that he does not drown he's got two more hours i'm hoping that he doesn't drown on that time and then i guess we can spend the rest of the day with river we're going between brothers today it's a very brother oriented episode i will say okay i don't know if we're gonna be able to catch uh this last fish because we have 30 minutes on our oxygen and it like takes them 30 minutes to return back to the surface because the system is kind of slow so i don't want him to die i'm hoping that he can no don't don't even catch it don't even bother okay go to the surface tyson i do not want tyson to die like that would be oh my god i would literally cry please go to the surface oh this fish is bugging look at the fish it's literally going in the no 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 no! oh my god okay oh my god guys he was literally i thought he was about to get mauled by that shark i literally almost had a heart attack okay go back home please go back home he's trying to pee himself really are you gonna pee yourself above the water oh my god tyson you are just an absolute yeah he's going all the way to the surface so that he can pee himself he's gonna pee himself on the shore we also just got 2k from skip working very nice skip's on call today which kind of sucks but oh he wants to call sunshine um skip hello that's a little bit strange that he wants to call sunshine i i i don't know i have no idea They're very weird okay well i guess if he wants to call sunshine then pull out your phone and call sunshine i suppose let's go and have him i can't have him call her for some reason i can't have him chat with her um i don't know why i can only text her so we'll wait until he gets home and then i'll try to like call her or whatever in the meantime we're gonna go over to river he has been working for a couple of hours now and we're gonna have him pull some sims to this lot just so they can drown i think who is this who is this sim oh i also should mention i did give florida a makeover i'm gonna pull her in cast here just to show you guys i did some makeovers off camera i did florida because she had pigtails because she aged up to an adult and you guys know i i don't do the dreaded pig oh my god i changed her hair back over to pigtails because i pulled her in cast when she's in her career outfit why i'm just gonna pretend like i didn't pull her in cast and hopefully it will mess up her hair um because for some reason when a sim is in their career outfit and you pull them in cast using enrolls it like messes up but if we see florida in real life i will show you guys her makeover i just don't want to mess it up so that she oh we have a sim that we have to rescue over here okay it's just one sim today which is nice i didn't pull any extras to the lot but we're still getting sims that we have to go save so that's kind of nice it's an elder so um hurry up come on river come on come on come on come on in your beetle and socks just fashion fashion at its peak right there all right he's he's busting his ass he's running over he's actually really fast i appreciate that the game doesn't like slow him down even though this game has some major routing problems and he also swims super fast so that's really nice he's gonna throw her a life preserver and we should be good he should rescue her just fine there's no one else on this lot so i'm just gonna have to bring some people over soon he got 800 simoleons oh my god 800 some that's a lot of money that is a lot of money just for saving a drowning sim okay we're gonna go and i'm gonna invite over sims that are free in two hours we're gonna grab a bunch of people and just
just invite them to the lot. Um, should I invite Florida just to see if she'll drown? No, I'm not gonna do that. That's kind of cool. Grab a bunch of people. I don't want to grab too many, but I want to make sure that we have a good amount uh, to have the chance of drowning Sims. Just so that we can, you know, get his. He's got a lot of people to rescue. He's still got, you know, 38 more people. Wait, is that right? 28. It might be 28. I don't know. I'm going to have Skip call. Can I have him call her? Oh, there we go. Chat. It finally showed up. I don't know why the option wasn't showing up. There we go. Perfect. Uh, Valerie says, thank you for saving me. Perfect. We got a bunch of people. We got Kennedy here. Hi, Kennedy. How are you doing? I hope Miss Kennedy doesn't drown. That would be very um, unfortunate. I will say, why is there a cat? Excuse me. Miley. Miley Cyrus is on my beach. Hello. Is anyone seeing this? Why are there animals on this beach? That's so strange. One of the unexpected aspects of inviting sims who are free in two hours to public lots is a lot of them will just come over here and relax like this on the beach which i actually kind of like like this feels very realistic to me that people will just come to the beach and not everyone is going to go in the water and stuff i mean the game is going to call a good amount of sims to go and drown in the water just by virtue of needing you know stuff for our lifeguard guy to do but that's one of the unexpected aspects of inviting sims who are free, free in two hours i really like that i think palmyra was throwing a party i accidentally closed it out too quickly so i didn't get to respond to it but if she is there in a couple of hours whenever her party is i will have tyson go and attend i mean it's only right um obviously tyson is her boyfriend so i don't know why Ooh, we have a sin that we have to go and rescue let's go and save this guy go and save uh who is this royce alani royce alani the kissing booth attendant so we'll have mr river go and rescue him go and save him it looks like that's the only sim currently that is drowning so gotta quickly get over there there might be a few other sims by the time we get out and you know do cpr or if we have to do cpr but we definitely need to make sure that i'm paying attention every time river works i have to draw some sims over here um because we need to get his lifeguard thingy underway and i don't want him to be a lifeguard for the rest of his life like i want him to move on in terms of job prospects but lifeguard career I honestly might do a couple of days off screen because it's relatively the same. Not much difference in day to day. I mean, I'm kind of just drawing sims a lot. That's pretty much all you guys aren't seeing when I'm not recording if I do. What the hell? Poppy and Salty? Poppy's for the girlies? I had no idea Poppy's for the girlies. Okay. I think she's bi actually. Wow. Poppy and Salty. What an interesting combo. What an absolutely interesting combo. Actually, I I'm liking that. I'm actually liking that pairing. That's... Mm, that was relatively unexpected if you guys don't know salty last episode broke up with star they have been on and off for a very long time i think but poppy uh who is our cousin i guess she's yeah she be our cousin is now with salty which i mean i guess the whole taylor slash mcdermott family tree is just getting with salty from what i can see so that's fun anyway we need to have river head on home it is time for him to head on home he's done with his work shift today i don't care if anybody else drowns i don't care we have to go home we have to go home i think the sim is trying to drown tori are you trying to drown on me don't drown we need to go home because our baby's gonna age up soon so i am going to i don't think we need birthday cakes they're just little tiny babies we don't need any birthday cakes but i am going to invite over a couple of our family members i don't want to do like a whole party thingy because then i won't be able to throw it in time and the guests won't be able to show up to the house in time so i'm just gonna invite lee palmira and phoebe and of course the baby mama we gotta invite florida too i guess that's when i can show her makeover um and hopefully they'll get here before eight if they don't get here before eight i'm gonna be very disappointed because we have a party that's we have to throw not throw but two sims to age up not an official party it's like a party off the books this is how i throw a quote-unquote party in the sims 2 is i just summon a bunch of sims over and i call it a party <laughs> even though it's technically not a party at all but that's fine it's like we need some music like if the house is very silent if i just don't have any music on we need we need something to listen to just listen to some island life some nice island life you know it's nice to listen to the island music it's very fitting to the to the season so that's why i like the island music anyway river is home so that he will be here to watch his little baby age up and look at uncle tyson oh he's watching noel how cute is that i love it he's such a good uncle i feel like he's gonna be such a good dad someday just to like the babies and then palmyra have which story progression will have them have trust me i'm hoping that sims can show up even though this houseboat is like in the middle of the water this is what i'm saying i should have i should have invited them over like while river was still at work because now i don't know if everyone's gonna show up in time because the automatic age Egypts are at eight o'clock so i'm gonna have meadow go and grab her baby and then we're gonna have river go and grab his little baby out of the swinging chair the swing station no no okay don't go don't go no no okay don't go to the swing station let him grab him out of there thank you it looks like phoebe's here hi phoebe how are you go say hi 
to your sister. We haven't seen her in so long. We need to congratulate her. Her and Lee literally just got married the other day. Didn't even invite us. She's crying because her dad died, even though she doesn't really like her dad. But we'll pretend like that plot hole is in present right now. <laughs> River has his little baby. We're going to have him go out here and um, go there with Noel. And we're going to have Meadow go and grab Ash. I had her grab Ash before, but she didn't want to take him. So we will try again. Okay, River's putting down Noel right now. He is not... I guess the mama didn't want to show up, but... Noel, yay! Happy birthday, Noel! It is your birthday! I think some more Sims are just appearing now. Hopefully, Florida comes because that would be really unfortunate. Oh, and damn you, Meadow. Are you really aging him up in a room where no one can see? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess that uh, no one's going to be able to see the poor Ash age up because this door is locked except for Skip and Meadow. Well, Ash is just aging up by himself, which is very unfortunate. Anyway, I guess the mom didn't want to show up. I feel really bad for Noel because his mom doesn't even want him to age up. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. Wait, Ash looks so much like Skip like wow hold on let's take a little look see i keep clicking on the wrong thing damn it let's go and edit ash and cast i actually like his outfit i'm not gonna change his outfit it's very color coordinated his hair matches his pants do we see that i think i see that he is a really cute kid he doesn't age up to look that great but he's really cute right now so i like him and we're gonna check out noel noel needs a little bit of hair he's bald so we'll add some hair to him i think his hair is really short i think his hair is just super short to his head but noel's our little blonde baby who grows up to be quite a handsome lad I mean, he is the child of River, so of course he's gonna be handsome, but let's give him some hair. Yeah, he has super short hair. We'll give him some longer hair. I don't want like super long hair like this. Like this is way too long for a toddler. I don't think a toddler would be able to grow that much hair. So what do I know? Um, we can give him some little wispies. He has little wispy hair, but his outfit definitely needs to be changed. I love the little palm tree on his clothes. I'm gonna keep that, but I'm gonna change his everyday outfit. Just don't give him shoes. I don't think babies even keep on shoes. When my mom sees babies out in public, she's like, I don't know why they have shoes on. They always kick them off. I'm not sure if that's true i never have had a baby but i would assume if my mother who has had two says that then that is probably true anyway so we're having the two cousins in here play and i'm going to just light up the stream because i think i forgot to put lights in here yeah i definitely did oh wait no i do have lights it's just one of these by debug lights so um i don't know if it'll turn on but anyway the two babies are here we're gonna play what is this river is naughty oh okay game i'm going to have meadow go and potty train ash he needs a little bit of potty training so we'll have her go bring him to the potty chair it looks like Palmyra did end up showing up in Florida. Oh my goodness. Here is Miss Florida. Here's also Phoebe. Ignore Phoebe, okay? But here's Florida. This is what her makeover brought her to. <laughs> I love Phoebe's face. They're just like two opposite personalities. She's like, why did you get with Lee? He gave me his old house. She's like, I cupped Lee. That's me. So this is what Florida ended up looking like. This is her formal attire. I don't know why she's wearing this outfit to her son's birthday. And she is also fashionably late. So nice job, Florida. You missed the age up of your son. I'm gonna have River come over and um invite everyone inside here's palmyra her formal outfit is very cute it's got like little flowers and stuff on it okay so we invited everyone inside so phoebe should be able to go inside florida should be able to go inside oh my god palmyra is inside the stairs this houseboat is very small oh they're gonna go and boohoo okay um wow really i think they're gonna do it on river's parents bed which is very yeah very nasty i can't say that that surprises me though uh considering their track record and metal missed throwing ash on the potty chair so now he's calling in his diaper damn it oh wow tyson is also moving with palmyra what are the chances that both brothers are this you know what at the same time okay wow i think this is our second time ever doing woohoo isn't it i'm pretty sure yeah florida says well if you're willing to take a shot with me sure let's try it okay um let's go have the hot times oh wait you guys can't have the hot times because your brother is already on the bed that's just great he's gonna walk in on his younger brother woohooing with his uh girlfriend yep there ew why are you watching river why are you sitting there watching what is wrong with you you sicko get out of there what the hell oh that is just absolutely vile he's just yep he's just hanging around okay get out of this tragic outfit too i hate it i really do he was gonna shoe his brother too but uh yeah he didn't have time to shoe his brother cool well great anyway it is late here at the taylor household so i'm gonna have river grab his baby and we're gonna just have them head on home i guess we can 
can take Florida with us to our house as well. That would be cool if we took her and showed her around our place. Speaking of which, we should go and fill it up with some more items now that we have a little bit more money to, you know, use. Taryn also aged up to an adult, which is crazy. She's gone full businesswoman with this straight hair. Oh my God, never thought I would see the day. Now, before I bring Florida home and she calls Child Protective Services on us because we have no wallpaper, no flooring, and barely any walls, I'm gonna throw some walls. Wait, someone said, you know what? Screw it. Someone told me never to use this wallpaper because I put it in like every house, but you know what? I love this wallpaper. I am a proud proponent of this wallpaper. I love the crown molding on top. I love the molding on the bottom. I think it's so cute and just so classy and it just takes and elevates a house that just is like a bare wallpaper with no molding and elevates it times 10. So you know what? I appreciate your feedback and constructive criticism, but this wallpaper, it's for me. I think we can also add some nice doors to the house now that we have a little bit more money and probably some more windows back here because this area has no windows so definitely need some of those i was trying to keep the front of the house balanced um make it sure that it has like the same amount of windows i think there should be a window right here but i think that that's where i was gonna have oh no it's not i was gonna say that's where i was gonna have the bathroom but no we're gonna add another shutter window right here and then one right there is that too much is that too many windows i think that might be eh that actually might be fine. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Is this too many windows right here? Should I have this many windows? Maybe the first floor shouldn't have any windows right there and then have the second floor have the windows. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Is four windows right here too much? Anyways, let's add some nice doors. I also want to do like a little back patio area. I think that'd be really cool if we had like a patio off of the kitchen. Of course, the lot doesn't hang over the water, so I can't build any in the water, which is really sad. That was like a big missed opportunity with this lot is the ability to kind of have that nice overhang on the water of like a house or either a deck or a backyard or whatever but i just can't do it so unfortunately that is not an option but we can build a nice little back deck area like this right here i think that'd be nice i'm not sure how big to make it i don't want to make it too big and have it be like disproportionate to the size of the house because the house is pretty small to begin with but that's a nice start right there and then we'll do like some glass sliding doors some nice walkout doors here perfect this house is really coming along i like it the shell of it i must say i kind of killed the shell i think i did a pretty good job i've never really built a house shell uh, and taken actually taken timed so it's not just a square box i think this leprosy has taught me kind of how to build a little bit which i never thought i'd be able to say but this this you know building houses for this series has actually been really therapeutic for me and enjoyable so thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to do so a lot of you have some shit to say about my house building skills but just know that i am trying i am actually trying to build these houses i swear these little outdoor lamps from pets are probably my favorite outdoor lamps i have a bunch on our houseboat um you know way over way over yonder i put some on the outside as well but i really adore those i'm not sure if like spanish inspired houses have back decks like this mine does so we'll we'll keep it there i've been neglecting adding doors because i just don't know what kind of door i want to go for like what kind of style of door we could do these type of doors but i feel like these are more for houseboats those don't really go along i need some damn lights in here i can't see a damn thing let's have some of these nice little lights i also have recategorized debug lights so they will light up but um I don't know why sometimes they just don't work for me like they won't turn on when a sim walks in a room i don't know if it's like my auto lights or what whatever but these won't turn on right now turn on turn on there we go finally i'll be able to see something i just drank some coffee and i just got it all over my glasses and myself how am i that inadequate i didn't get out my mic i'm like rubbing my mic so if you hear that that's what that is <laughs> mic rubbing asmr anyway i think i've nailed it down i think i just want to use these basic ones i really like three tile doors like the base game has a three tile uh where is it or two tile sorry not three tile it's a two tile door it's this door it's called the lucky door i really like these i think they look really nice it's just a basic door but i like the fact that it's a little bit wider than your average door because they are taking up two tiles it's really nice so i think i'm gonna use these inside the house i'm gonna go with like a dark a darker door i think all the rooms have a big enough entrance to put a two tile door so might as well just take the opportunity and do that good the house is coming along and i'm gonna leave the bed that is rivers in the sort of walk-in area here just because we don't have anything upstairs and i don't want to use all the money on rivers home despite uh me really wanting to complete it actually we should add some more countertops and that sort of thing so this doesn't look so busted up hold 
on. You know what? Maybe it is time to move River's furniture and Noel's furniture into his room as well. So I'm gonna move all the furniture away from the sort of foyer area and actually put the furniture where it's supposed to be so we can kind of get a little get a little grasp of where things are start to plot them out. I think I want to make the kitchen like its own separate room. I think that would look really nice actually. This and then we have this little dining area. Is it weird if I put a wall like right when you walk in. I don't think so. I'm going to put an archway actually. Let me color this wall as well. So I'm going to do two archways and I'm going to connect them in the middle. I'm going to do all these circular archways. A lot of Showtime furniture is actually Spanish inspired furniture, which is really cool Um, because of the sort of like LA architecture, you know, the Spanish inspired architecture in LA is also comes a lot with that pack. And we have this doorway, which is my only single tile curved archway. So I'm going to have to use this one if I want to do like a single tile because if I put it too a little bit uh maybe i'll move this over like this that might look a little bit better actually like that a lot more than i could put a two tile right here perfect or what if i chop this wall all together and just leave that open i think that looks good yeah that could be our little dining area over there even though we have a plant sim and he doesn't need to eat like eating is not <laughs> eating is not what he needs but noel's human so noel will have to eat eventually when he's a child he'll begin eating like real food okay so i actually really like how this house is turning out um I, i'm surprised that i got this all together when i just did it on camera i actually didn't have to do like a lot of trial and error i'm gonna use that simster store set that i was talking about it's called the uh yesta set i think from the simster store i don't know if it's called the yesta set i'm pretty sure it is though it comes with the deep fryer and the ice cream machine i'm sure when i say that it's ringing a bell because a lot of you probably have those store items or you them on a, on a regular basis. I must say I love that deep fryer and the ice cream set. I think it's really cool. So for some reason, the priest watches on these chairs, they just don't match. <laughs> they just don't match the tables. I don't know whose idea at EA was it to have chairs that don't match the tables. Hello? I feel like this is a major oversight in my opinion. Like, why would you do that to me? Actually, I think this middle swatch does match the table in the last swatch, but not the first one. The first one doesn't match. It feels like that orange texture right here. This shouldn't be on the table. Can I actually remove that? Is that a possibility or i think that's like that just comes with the thing that's unfortunate okay i can't change that whatever this is river's table i guess i did say i wanted to use the set so i will stay true to that and use it Alrighty, now that we have some furniture finally put down in our house and florida uh will not think that we are hurting her child not that she even cares probably because i mean she abandoned him so does she even really care probably not no i would assume no we're gonna go over to River's house with her and just take her there, show her it for the first time. She's never been here, so this will be very interesting. We're gonna go there with Florida. I'm so excited to show her our new place. Now that it's a little bit more put together, it should look it should look nicer. So I was gonna send River and Florida and Noel to go and see River's new house. Um, but for some reason, Florida has decided to levitate on the air. Yeah, she's um she's levitate. Okay, never mind. There she goes. There she's on her little jet ski now, but uh no idea. I I can't tell you. I guess we're just gonna have to invite her over with Enrolls because ooh, what the hell was that? So River just got home. I'm expecting to Florida to come home with him shortly. I invited her over via Enrolls, so hopefully she'll be here. Actually, we should get some toys for Noel to play with just so that he isn't like doing nothing having let's have him build some skills and that sort of thing it seems a little better he has a very big room i just noticed he has a really nice room even though it has like three things in it it's nice it's very spacious he'll like it a lot when he's a teenager i'm sure we have lots of room for like misc objects and decor objects it'll be nice i swear okay i'll make it nice eventually so i've been getting this notification for a couple nights in a row there are currently seven sims in town waiting to graduate the town council would like to know whether they should schedule the ceremony for today or wait until later eventually i have to do type Tyson's graduation ceremony. I guess we can just do it today. It will pull all my sims. Oh, sunshine got reset. It will pull all my sims in my household to said lot. So it's kind of unfortunate. Also, I don't know where Florida went to. She just never, she decided to never show up. Sometimes Enros is like that where I'm by them over several times and they will just never show up. Like they just don't, they don't want to come to my house or whatever. I don't know where she's going. I think she's on her way home. I would presume because she is heading over to her house, which is over here. So I guess maybe it's too late for her. I'm not sure but um we'll do a little show and tell with our house in florida i mean it is still very unfinished so it might be better if we invite her at a later date but guys i'm gonna end this episode here in the next episode we will have tyson's graduation you can see what his little medals and awards and honors and stuff he gets in the next episode he is back here flirting with palmyra should we have him try one more time we're gonna have him try before the end of this episode let's have him try one more time for a proposal i'm gonna try it we know we tried last time 
time. She said no because she's an insane sim. No, she's leaving. Where are you going? Wait, let's see. Uh, there's nothing of a warm flame that makes me feel happy. Maybe this will trigger a proposal. Wouldn't that be romantic? I want to do it up here. Where are you going, Palmyra? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you heading all the way downstairs, you stupid ass? I wanted to do it on the rooftop garden because it looked nice. She's anti-rooftop garden. Okay, now the baby's like screaming over here. All right, let's wake Skip up. He can take care of the of his child. All right, let's try one more time. One more time, we'll do this little proposal thingy. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we can uh, get a get a successful proposal here and then kind of get their relationship kickstarted. That would be great. Stupid ass baby's crying in the background too. That's so annoying. All right, do you know what goes together? Me and you. Let's try this one more time, please. Yes, yes. She's proposing to us, guys. I did it. We have a screaming baby in the background, but I did it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm good. Deeper conversations. I love you. Deeper conversations. I love you. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? It wasn't bad after all. Listen, Tyson, we stayed persistent. We stayed vigilant and we got proposed to oh my god how exciting is that congrats fuck the idea that the guy always has to propose okay palmira she's a strong independent woman and wow congrats we just got engaged in literally the fucking kitchen of our house how fun is that stupid ass skip take care of your goddamn child screaming in the background i told him to go take care of him what does he do goes and eats waffles that's that's what he does okay it's so cute seeing like fiance say up here now i love that oh congrats i don't know how tyson's gonna handle someone that's insane but i guess we'll see in the long term right anyways guys this episode has been long enough i will catch you all in the next one and peace out